Hey everyone, um, creating a little short tutorial. I've been uh, asked how do I, how did I uh, get my um, Sky Park window to display in VR? And so I thought I'd just throw together a quick and dirty uh, uh, tutorial on how I uh, had that set up. So, so first of all, you know, Microsoft. Flight Simulator 2020, the recommended way to run VR is to use uh, Windows Mixed Reality Portal with the OpenXR uh, runtime. And uh, that's, that's bringing up this OpenXR developer kit right here. I'll bring that window up here. So these are my settings here. Uh, I've, toyed, I've toyed with the custom render scale things of that nature but that's what you normally run um, flights in there 2020 in uh, for VR you don't use steam um, however with uh, Windows Mixed Reality Portal I do not know of a way currently and if somebody does please share that with me um, how to run portals uh, from your desktop to display within VR um, so the only way I knew how to do that was through uh, Steam VR. So I'm not going to use this Open uh, XR Developer Tools. So I'm just going to exit out of that. But currently, my uh, I have Steam VR up just so I can get some my uh, my uh, G2 audio mic uh, working. So that's kind of why I have this up and running. So, but you do want to run Steam VR to to run the tool that I'm going to talk about that I use to get Sky Park to work. So currently I got you know Windows Mixed Reality Portal up and running, Steam VR, and I brought up the settings. And the change, the first change that I make is I set this value here, set Steam VR as open XR runtime. So I would click on that and that sets Steam VR when you launch it to use that uh, to be the interface or the runtime uh, for OpenXR. So that's the first step that I need to do to get that to work. So then I, I close out of, I don't really actually have to close out of that. It's good to go. Um, so I don't need to really restart. Uh, but when you norm, when you do that, when you make that change, every time you start Steam VR, it'll launch the, mix, the mixed reality portal and give you the interface that you need to allow you to to run uh, uh, Sky Park or any other application that you want to try to display within VR. So the question at hand was really how do I get Sky Park to work but this should work with some other other utilities. So I'm starting this, this the transponder here and I'm going to launch the The, the pad. There's an update. I'm not going to do the update right now. So that's you need to have that up and running. And then the tool that I use is a program that I got from Steam. You have to pay for it. It's not free. It's called Open VR. Sorry, OVR Drop rather. So this is a program right here that I use to capture the window that I want to run inside uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this is one way to do it. There's another um, application which I haven't tried yet but I'm going to try at some point. I think it's called Desktop Portal. It's all through also through Steam Steam Apps OBR yeah. Drop. So now with Sky Park running I can go down here and I can select different apps that are running or whatever. So I'm going to choose Skypad, which what that does now is it puts it in my VR headset. So if I share my VR headset, in my window, let's see, left monitor, you can see now that the Sky Park is in the window right there. So now I need to switch over to my headset so I can see better. 
So now I'm now I'm in VR. VR. I got my uh, my pad, but it's it's upside down. And then that window for the OVR drop screen, it has a bunch of key commands that you can map to your controllers or your keyboard or whatever to manipulate this window. So I just happen to know the key presses, so I'm just going to press that. In this case, it's the C key. So I hold that down, and that rotates my uh, Sky Park pad to where I want it. And then there's other keys that I'll show. I'll bring up the window again, but um, I uh, I know which kind of which ones I need to to use to uh, get my kind of get my window kind of where I want it. Kind of give it a rough. Uh, kind of give it a rough location where I want it. So now I got that there and I have it mapped to my control key, my left control key. So now I can bring it up, make it come back and forth. So now with that done, I got my VR up and running. I got my sky pad ready to go. Now it's time to bring up a uh, flight simulator. So then I launched Microsoft flight simulator which will take a while to load. And it's a process. You have to start this stuff at a certain order or things just don't work out well. So you need to have your Steam up and running first, your VR up and running. You gotta get your Sky, your, your Sky Park, your Sky Pad up and running or whatever application you wanna display. As far as I know is OVR Drop only um, allows you to pick one window so I don't know if uh, desktop portal will allow you to pick multiple windows, um, but as far as I know is the OVR drop just lets you pick one. Alright, now that uh, Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator 2020 is up and running, first thing I like to do is go into uh, VR mode. So first thing I'm going to do is click on that. That's going to enter VR mode, put in my headset, and then I just hit the space bar and that'll center my screen. So let me switch back over to my other output so you could... All right, so this is the mod I was talking about earlier. This is the new uh, new interior mod for the A320. So it's tan and black. It's nice and clean. Looks fresh, modern. I like it. It's not the standard uh, drab, uh, baby blue, gray, whatever that the Airbus series are. So this looks pretty badass. So anyway, it's back to the task at hand. So now I'm in the plane. And I can bring up my sky pad, and I, like I said, I can use those keys to move it around. Wherever I want it, just so I can see it's out of the way. And then the control key, that's what I have it bound to, it makes it come and go. And right now the windows, a flight simulator window is the primary uh, uh, key, the, is the primary um, selected window, so I can control different things, but, but I can't do anything with Skypad. So to be able to get around that, unfortunately, the only way right now is, is Alt-Tab, and then you got to kind of find your mouse, which makes it kind of fun to... There we go. So now my mouse. So now I can. I'm at the home page. 
I can look for some contracts. I can go back to the home page. Here's my holdings. Did three flights. Got Fourteen hundred bucks. Have got a lot. And Yo Flight, and I can do different things with that. So there's K Den. I don't have anything booked. Um, but now, since that's the primary window, I can't do anything with my mouse. However, my controls still work. So if I go to the outside of the plane, I uh, find my. No, nope, it's not going to work either. So certain things work, but some things don't. So I have basically need to Alt Tab uh, to get back into the manipulating of the plane. So. So now I'm back in the plane, and now my keys work. But I can still see my sky pad. I can make it come and go. I'm back inside, and I can do everything in the plane um, that I need to do. If I don't need the sky pad at the moment, I just hit the control key, makes it go away. I'm doing my normal stuff, and life is good. I need to look at the sky pad. I can look at it, and if, you know, if I got my flight plan on there, I you know I just look at it, glance at it, put it away. I don't need to have it up the entire time. So that's how I do it. Just uh, it's a little, basically it's a portal into my desktop for one app. So I can I use this for when I'm streaming. If I want to bring up a chat um, window so I can uh, uh, interactively chat with my uh, who's viewing while I'm streaming, um, you can probably do. I haven't actually tried the Navigraph charts, but you can probably uh, do your Navigraph window and you can bring that up and you can have all your charts and approach plates and all that stuff readily available since we don't have an EFB, so that's one way to do it. And um, Whatever window you want to have up and running, you can do that within VR. That's one trick to do it. But you have to go, you have to use Steam VR overlays to, to make that work. You can't do it the recommended way from Microsoft, which is not to use Steam VR, but to use uh, Windows Mixed Reality with the Open XR uh, developer kit to uh, get VR to run. Now, I haven't really noticed a difference in terms of performance. Performance seems to run good for me. I did notice that the recording, it seems like the uh, the mixed reality mirror, the preview mirror, seems to record better than the um, uh, the mirror for uh, Steam VR. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's just Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't know. I mean, it's not perfect because the mirror recording, you know, it does not capture how smooth it is in the headset because I mean right now the headset is very smooth and at, unfortunately when I record it it's a little choppy and stuttery so anyways I'm getting off topic but um, that's how I do it that's you can use that for whatever windows you want and um, that should answer the question how did I get Sky Park in VR so if you have any other further questions uh, feel free to hit me up in the comment section in the video and I'll be sure to respond to those and happy to help out any way I can. So thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful for those who had questions and I'll uh, talk to see you guys later. Take care. Out.